I want to create a simple web program. Uh, you see me vertical, and now today you are looking at the continue, and then you are looking at 3D model. Now we need to grab a 3D model and see how it becomes. Side or lower side, we use full. So we use full. Okay. So here it has given me the profile. This is the profile that I told you before with the edit cards. Yes. So next is we look at the machine. Go to machine default. Then we got two, two parts. We have to plant here. Want to now the second step is to do setup. Setup. So where is the part origin? Basically, the part origin. Where does the workpiece code system is? Yeah. So we want to look at the workpiece code system. Um, the jaws where we're holding our workpiece. We can come to tool. Then we Visualize here that we need this to be sequentially in the new tools. We can change the new material if we want to remove the material. We can add different kind of material. This is aluminum. Uh, this category, let's say it is aluminum aluminum 70, 75. Using millimeters. So it will has come here at the top. It's in top, uh, top what is the XZ. Come to properties. It is our audio. We can take a single mission here. So basically 50. Yes. Here then you can say from 20. Then new mountains. So Say I'm removing by 10 2 millimeter for pressing and then 2 millimeter, millimeter for the stock above each other on the positive side of X and the negative side of X. Then rounding the side is 50 and go to view. Same to go to view. Same thing it means already the stock is inside, which means that our, our stock is less. Our stock is less. Uh, oh, stop is less here. So here, so can click on the OD. OD. Click largest OD. Here, it is 80. Yes. Let me see if we view. Now it has uploaded. Now this is what you call a stock. Our stock. And say, now the 60 okay so that is our stock and we can do a preview you see how it looks like so it is two millimeter for facing then it's our end drop and then we just have a clamp and go to the jaws where is the jaws we are going to parameters and we say and the stop with maximum let me say it is 18 and do preview and preview 20 say the dynamic dynamic rotation this is good top so this is our stock. This far. This is our stock. This is our job. So it is holding the far end, leaving like 10 millimeter. Then the, so it doesn't clamp. And that's enough for the jaws. 
Manchín, por ahí, señor Simón de Dios, ¿no? No sé yo qué. Su reinado, Abastoc, Riceps, de la Luz Intani, de tu Gandhi Fesi, Fesi. De mi a Juan, que es el que me ha hecho, me ha hecho el segundo. Me ha hecho el segundo. Me ha hecho el segundo. Observed. Okay. You can say my machine is 22,000. I have 1,500. You can have 1,200. It will go finish with 21. You can say we have AC. AC is my mission. So it's coming from far point. Okay. You can check on the parameters. We say now for one. Finish two. You can check on this. Okay. So this is our facing. You can try to do a simulation. The facing. So that's it. Let me rotate this one. And as you can see, by the time we are reaching, we see that this leg, so it is coming from the machine, it goes, it goes to X100, and the hundred goes to the facing. So this is to the facing. So it's present right now. You can calculate, you can do single uh, rough turning. Two meters away, that's five feet away from safety. So this is our rough turning. Yet it's exceeding two meters away. In case I want to do to be easy, yes. This is this material, this is a control, we also told us I'm rich there. You can change from here, you can change the branch parameter or save this, and then you can pick here and then go to say this is close to this only three to four feet. Okay, you click OK, it's going inside, then you can. Okay, so you see how much material you do. And the area that the tool does in fit, and because the tool is in the tool is MD, J, and R, K, and that's 2020 K, 
11, which is DNMG. DNMG. 15.0408. So it doesn't finish. You can put a finish of operation. And since Mastercam will only pick, will pick the original continue for up, so that's why you pick the last one. Okay. So that's why you pick again. As they can use different tool in the library from my library. Say M, which is M U, can open by finishing. Say finishing OD time. Right, one more is okay. Very yeah. similar. 2000. By finishing, you increase the speed of speed. Although it's good to calculate from the tools and, uh, and those material that you're using so that you don't, uh, you, you don't affect the surface finish. That's why it is so. So this has not removed this material. What to do is you need to increase the flange. The flange. You can say use this second one. Angle five. Okay. So that you can remove the extra material remaining. And again play it for finishing. But which now can go inside for finishing. Let's remove the extra materials remaining. This is the last pass. Last pass, yes. It has removed this because they for the contour. It has removed it. Good. Then, very next, we can do parting. At this point, we'll do parting today. So, next year, we'll do grooving, parting, and threading. So, we'll do some done and finish. Threading, grooving, then we can also put flat map. So please generate the G code. At least use a different way of uh, simulating. It's a different way of simulating. You can click on this. And you see how we can post our, uh, post our NCI. Then the actual finishing or actual turning. Then we can do the remaining rotation until we have this one. Click OK. Turn. Let it turn. It is finishing. Good. Good. We can click it again. So you can see how it comes. Need to increase the speed and play. This that is facing Go to zero line. Back down. Back down. Movement is 
actually it's in computer right or left so it is doing rough turning turning And second touches. This is not That is it. Good. So this is our part. So the machine has done the facing. It's a facing on this side. This is where the rough facing operation it has rough turning, then it comes to finish. Finish. So this is what you call CNC uh, turning. Uh, you see now the master control aiders in programming. So it's good to it's good to learn and master this technology where uh, we are doing subtractive machining. To understand the basic knowledge of mechanical engineering and how to do manual machining of lead and milling, then again, we to look at how I am able to design, create a 3D model that's we call geometrical modeling using either 3D software like going. So, solid works for manufacturing, you can use Inventor, you can use Fusion. Use Camux, you can use a master cam. There are so many of them. Others are card specifically, others are card cam specific. So it depends on which software you want. For manufacturing, I would prefer to use a either Prevox, Inventor, or 360 or Master Cam that we do in manufacturing. So uh, from now here, we have done our simulation. We see how this part will be cut on the real machine. Then next is can we able, are we able to generate G codes? So we can come here and pick all of them. The X me combine, then you click on the G code. Post selected operations, I say post. You can say this is an NC file, NC file, okay. And you can pick where I'm saving, let's say desktop. And I'm looking at it. let's put on this folder turn, turn, turn. Let's go to Simulink. This one. Let's say turn this turn or the turn. I think for Simulink you can use any name. Then put them together for a machine. Machine is Simulink. You can change inside there. Then you can change. Same, same, okay. It will open, then from there you can edit that program. I'll show you how to edit that program. If you have the correct controller, you just post it direct to the machine, and then it comes easy. So sometimes it doesn't know to use this one, you can change all this. For example, if you're using ISO, you can put G to number one for. Controller eight or eight. So let's use this port for Simulink. Simulink eight or eight. Eight eight that eight or two. Eight or eight. It's ten. And the the machine. So you can use that one. Even a twenty eight or it can then you can use G seventy for the same machine. One behind so that it doesn't read. And if you put a semicolon behind, it doesn't read. You can change this one say M6. M6. And then you can move this maybe nine for safety purposes so that it doesn't give me a long time give me error. You can shift here a semicolon. And then let me move home my machine to change the next tool. So this is a game tool. My simulator can use MTB1. You can set in that tool. Set in that tool. So 
So this is how you can read this. It's no need. This one is called the moment. It's already it has gone to a safe point. Then you are putting it. And again, for tool, because I'm using semen, I can use D, D1, D1, both of our eyes, uh, HNC, GSK, or you can use T1, T0101, T0202, or T11, T22, that they can speak. You can also say that I'm not uh, homing my machine. Yes, you can say that. Okay. So you have only two operations. At least three operations. We have the first one from here using tool one for rough. This is for facing. Then from facing, we come to uh, external turning. From external turning and roughing, we come to uh, the same, same to the second tool, finishing, finishing purposes. So this is what we call the CNC part of programming. Some, Sometimes, uh, most of the companies uh, which are now still using the old version are given a drawing. For example, given a drawing, let's check a simple drawing. Let's give a drawing. Drawing. Got a simple drawing. Let's give a drawing. Turn in profile. Let's make a picture. So let's give a drawing such as, uh, such as this. Then they tell you program. This one, it may be easy for nobody who is conversant with CNC, you can program it, but it takes a lot of time. And if you are so not so accurate, you may make so much errors. Now, when you increase the level of complexity, when you are part, the way it increases, now the complexity of programming also becomes difficult and the, part, the number of programs becomes so huge. So sometimes it is good to use the a CAM software to program. Use the CAM software to program to aid you introducing not so much complexity and also errors that may come up because of your level of uh, programming. So, this is how uh, the CAM is used in programming uh, uh, or automating machine. Thank you. Next time we'll come to look at grooving. We will create a, a, a part where you can do grooving. You can do <laughs> threading and don't parting off. Again, next from that one, we we'll go next to demo turn. Then from there, because we're now using the normal turning machine, that is the two of this with Z, we'll also go to turn mill. Turn mill. Because like here in Masaka, we have a lot of programs you can do for uh, for turning the general one then is the cane one the cane cycle we have only done the general one where it's linear then if you want to go to cane one you can also use the cane way of uh, programming next we'll look at how can we now automate our program or simplify our program using the cane cycle contour cane cycle maybe from g70 to g99 G71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, and like that, that equals finishing operations, grooving, and it is a pattern uh, programming. If you're using G73, you can use pattern. If you're using rough turning, you can use G71, you can use G95, you can use G72, 73, depending on the machine. The same same applies to finishing. If you're using grooving, it depends if you're using G75. G76, we are using normal G31. So those are some of the controls that we learn on how to program. Also, like you are doing trading, we are using G76 or G32 or G33 or G32. So we learn on how we can create those programs using either simple part programming or using the simplified pen cycle to program. Thank you and uh, have a lovely good night.